Hey guys, I'm gonna get it out of the way straight away. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, notification bell, and subscribe. It's Walk Wednesday, my name's Jeremy, you know who I am now, from School of Walk, and we are gonna do a dish that I did on Ready, Steady, Cook quite recently, and that is Chinese style wok fried tomato egg. It's a classic family dish, really simple to make. It's really, really easy cooking this. And it's one of those dishes that can easily be a nice, quick side dish. Or if you're cooking for kids and you know that they like their sort of scrambled egg and things like that, then it works really well. My son loves this dish. Finely sliced red onion. Half will do. Just setting up my wok clock on my dish that I'm gonna serve up on. So my wok clock, if you don't know, and if you're new to the channel, is a round plate starting at 12 o'clock with my first ingredient. So I've got my onion. I'm gonna put a little bit of spring onion into this as well. Just nice chunks of spring onion, like so. And then I've got some tomato, because it is tomato egg, and they can just go in wedges. And then my egg, put three eggs here. And there's a real technique to cooking omelette in a wok. It's one of those things, it's kind of like in French cooking, if you start your cooking journey, learning to make the perfect omelette is where you always start, in a skillet pan. Very, very similar in Chinese cooking. If you know how to make a good, what have I put in there? I put it here. If you know how to put, make a good wok omelette, then that's the sort of beginning of your wok journey. I'm gonna put a small amount of light soy, and this is optional, but I've seasoned this with a little bit of light soy sauce and some sesame oil. And give that a good beat. So all this, pretty simple, pretty standard, nothing crazy. So my wok clock, my red onion, spring onion, my tomatoes, my egg. And what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna cook the egg through before I then start the wok clock. So I'll cook it through, take it out, and then reintroduce it back into the wok clock around here. Last thing I've got to make up is the sauce, which is really easy. We start with a tablespoon of ketchup, which is probably why the kids like it. Kind of like a mild sweet and sour flavor sauce. A tablespoon of rice vinegar or white wine vinegar if you can't find rice vinegar. And then a tablespoon of sugar and then half a tablespoon of light and dark soy. Remember, we've got some light soy in the egg itself as well, so it'll be salty enough. Dark soy for colour. So, my wok clock set up, my sauce at the very end. Let's get ready to wok. Now, as I say, I'm going to cook the egg, or pretty much half cook the egg first, so that then when it goes into the sauce, it kind of, it's already held its shape somewhat. High heat, and this technique I'm talking about when cooking a good omelette in a wok is when you start a good amount of oil to base around the wok. I want that oil to be smoking hot before I pour the egg in, but then at that point, either you're gonna use the hob to turn the heat down, or you're gonna maneuver the egg in the right time at the right, in the, at the sort of right speed. Most people, a lot of people will think, oh, I'm gonna scramble this, and therefore sort of start shaking into it quite quickly. You don't want to go too sort of vigorously with your egg. Rather just sort of pushing through it, and I'll show you that as we go. This high heat at the beginning is really important because you want it to bubble up straight away. My wok's smoking hot. My oil will smoke about five seconds after. And then at this point, your egg goes in. And you can see that bubbling up. Once it bubbles up, push into it. Sort of every two to three seconds, and that means that it will sort of almost create these sort of wisps of egg or layers of egg into that omelette that you're making, but you don't want to go too quickly because otherwise 
the egg will stick to the bottom of the wok. So staying on a high heat and just manoeuvring that omelette around so it doesn't burn even on that high heat, but at the right sort of speed. Once my egg is just over half cooked, then you want to take that out of the wok. And you can see that my wok is still completely clean. That's how quick you can cook an omelette in a wok. But that's half cooked and then ready to go in with the rest of the ingredients. From here, really, really easy. My wok clock of ingredients, just a little drizzle of oil ready for my onions to start. Onions can go in. One stray little spring onion there, but I don't mind. High heat, smoking hot, break up those onions. You don't want them to sort of wilt too much. Just cooking out that rawness. Spring onion can join the onions now. And if you want to get so that essence of spring onion out, if you feel like your wok is a little dry, just a drizzle of oil around is fine. A couple of tosses through. Keep that on a nice high heat. And especially before your tomatoes go into your wok, because all I want to do is I want to sear those tomatoes so that you get a slight charring around the outside of them, but they keep their juice in for the first 30 seconds or so. Push that to the back, bring the wok to a really high heat now, and then, as I say, we're gonna sear your tomatoes. Make sure that that oil gets really, really smoking hot before you put your tomatoes in. Smoking hot tomatoes. Good sizzling sound there. Try and flick them over if you can so that the skin goes into the wok and sears nicely and get that, gets that sort of charring effect. Bring the veg over the top. My egg's going to go back in now, over the top, so it doesn't burn, and then my sauce is going to cook this through incredibly quickly. Sauce round the edge of the wok. You can start to break your egg up a little here. Flick that through. Whoa, look at that. Absolutely delicious. Nice little charring around the edge of that. Flick that through a couple of times. You want your egg to still be a little bit wispy in texture. And then straight out. And then classic ready steady cook style. A good clump of coriander for some garnish. Nice simple dish. Mmm. Perfectly sweet and savoury. Little tint of sour, just from that tablespoon of vinegar. Delicious. This is, as I say, real simple family cooking, guys. If you like this and you want to learn more about all these sorts of Chinese and Asian flavours, don't forget to click subscribe and press that notification bell. And of course, like on all our social media.